Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the Cursed Estate and we are ready to head out into the Warrens to head against the Swine God. I have put together what I think is a pretty decent team. It's a little bit of a hodgepodge team, honestly. We've got some really kind of interesting things going on. I'll get into the team in a little bit, but first of all, let's go into a diary entry here from Blank Gaming for Arik, a duelist who we took out in the previous episode. Lady Fortune did me so dirty this half of the month. First week, I was sent with that, uh, with, with that same wild man from the last quest, but we got the worst guide possible. Since the route from the hamlet to the corrupt forest is quite long, us heroes get sent into the uh, in, sent in with a guide so we don't get lost. Well, that guide we uh, got decided um, got decided it'd be a great idea to get absolutely wasted in broad daylight right uh, before guiding us. Well, Mister, I hate my job, so why not lose it? Uh, decided to take a shortcut. His drunken mind thought up of it. The next morning, he had to, to admit to us that we were completely lost. So we just had to wander around for the next few days. We got lucky enough to get um, a marked location in the Warrens. But we were not equipped for the dangers there at all. So we had to retreat. Next week, a sensible person actually took us near to the Hag's Lair. But of course, Lizzie For Lady Fortune decided it'd be fun to ruin another week. Apparently, someone was too butthurt when I defeated them in a tournament. So they sent some weirdos who put feathers in their clothes to try and take me down. Emphasis on try. After we got to the witch herself, it was an extremely disappoint it was extremely disappointing. The biggest challenge was listening to that vessel who has been cooked alive. We have eyes, idiot. Pain is a part of being an adventurer. Anyways, we took down that hag and we freed the vessel from the pot in record time. The wild man though. He really grabbed my attention. He was relentlessly attacking the hag. The two might have been it might have had a past. But if that's what he's capable of, I might want to befriend him, let's say. I love that you worked that in, by the way, Blank Gaming. The fact that I accidentally went into the fucking swine god fight and you made that part of the story is fantastic. Either way, that's uh that's one of the fantastic diary entries. Let's move on to the second one, again by Blank Gaming by uh for Maggie, the uh, itinerant cook. After my last exposition, I realized something quite ghastly. I am the main chef of the hamlet, who's majority overworked because there are too many people to feed. Combining that with my age, declining health, and part-time adventuring, my time will come soon and famine will strike in the hamlet. It might not be the best place to live, but it has grown on me. I can confidently call it a home. I might not agree with everyone all the time, but I still wish the best for them. So I've come to the conclusion that the hamlet needs uh, a safety net after my demise. Looking through the lift of potential people in the main town um, to be chefs in my absence. Two people stuck out quite a bit. Sven and Canis. Sven has quite an interest, uh, interesting in brewing, which surprised me. So I'll be able to help him discover a passion for cooking too. And Canis is a kind lady. She, like me, wouldn't want to see any more of the town folk die for such trivial things as hunger. I'll ask them if they're interested and see what happens afterwards. That's a nice little story point there. That is a very true point. That if Maggie goes, if she ever perishes, she's an old lady. There is not going to be anyone to cook for the Hamlet. She must be completely overworked. I mean, she's feeding 88 people on a weekly basis. That is insane. Uh, but either way, we are going to jump on in and I'll kind of break down my team here. So we're bringing out Rune essentially for story reasons mainly because of course those of you that know the burgers here uh, runes backstory his um his regiment who he was camping out with uh were attacked by a beast that visited him in his dreams and he found it to be the swine god he has helped retreat the beast a few times now but nothing more and this is why he wants to finally see that beast lay to rest and he him and his uh crewmate who Thankfully survived that he found here weeks into the uh, into the hamlet. Berthold will also be very happy. We're bringing him out with the last light mainly because he's got this here along with uh, along with this as well. Uh, these two uh, are I believe AOE and they help everyone. So that's going to be buffing prot and also he does a nobility here that buffs prot. So I think that this works very well. And then focus ring just for a bit of extra accuracy and crit because he's already got a massive HP base. And then Sunder here. It's going to pair nicely with some of the other stuff we've got going on. Um, so we can actually take a look at Ryan Hawthorne here. 
Um, Ryan is coming out simply because of, uh, well, uh, mainly two reasons. For one, Ryan hasn't been out in a little while and uh, he's looking to be the main healer here. We've set him up with the, uh, the silver syringe and the husband's heart for that prot. But the main reason we're bringing him is this here, the weakening curse to lower that prot and damage on the swine god. That should be very, very helpful. But obviously his healing is going to be quite instrumental as well and should hopefully help out quite a lot. Um, as well as the fact that this stun is going to pair nicely if we can get that to work with rune. If we can stun and then slap, we should be able to do quite a lot of extra damage. Matthew is coming in as our beast killer. He has plus 30% damage against beasts. He hasn't been out in a little while, so I feel like it's about time. And he's coming out with just the extra stress relief and lick the wounds, guard dog, just in case anyone gets a bit weak. We can change those up as we go, though. Um, and I might want to change out Guard Dog for Targeted Whistle for now and just see how that goes. Um, but he's coming out with a little bit of prot himself and also the extra damage versus Beasts because he's already got a plus 30. And then along that same vein, Manold is also a Beast Slayer himself with the Silver Bullet plus 30% damage to Beast. And we have another Beast Slayer ring, so that's another plus 25. Plus the Legendary Bracer because he's already got an OK HP base. Uh, for another 20% damage. Uh, I just do need to quickly check over my um, my camping stuff. See if there's anything that we that we wouldn't want to trade out here. Um, honestly, it doesn't really look like it. Uh, I think everything that we've got here is pretty much what we need. Uh, let's quickly go and make sure that everyone is up to scratch on their skills. Make sure everyone is ready to go. And we'll hop on out and see how this goes. So, Rune is coming out with this. Is there any other skills that he needs doing? He needs that one doing. Ryan, you're pretty good. Um, you need this one here doing. I think that's everything, isn't it, for you? Looks like it. And Matthew actually has quite a few upgrades going on. So, we're going to go... We're going to actually upgrade quite a lot here. Even though there's some skills here that we won't be using, I am going to upgrade them a lot. Uh, the Manold... Also needs some upgrades here. Let's just go across the board and let's quickly check our gear upgrades and make sure that we're set there. I think everyone else is good to go, but I'll quickly check. Yep, looks like we're all good. Uh, let's make sure that we selected the right quest here, the Swine God. And I believe this crew should be relatively well versed for this last quest. One thing that I do have to say, um, I'm probably going to kind of change here and there. In fact, there's literally no point to using this. Um, let's set up this parry. But we can never use this against the Swine God. Because you gotta remember that we have um that we have the little uh the little Wilbur that we do not want to end up attacking. So we do not want to set this up when we're fighting against the Swine God. But up until then it should be pretty good. Let's get our provisions and be raring to go. We can stack up on food and torches, but we'll take um we'll take five of them, six of them, six of them. Uh, just five of them and just five of them as well. I think that should cover us. Uh, actually, we'll grab some of them, five of them as well. That should cover us. Let's embark. I believe I'm just going to make sure that everyone's in their correct positions. Uh, everyone can do everything from every position. By the way, maybe wondering why I put Matthew here. Matthew has actually got plus two speed, plus five crit from this position. He's also got plus five accuracy and four crit versus beasts, which really, really lends itself quite nicely to Hound Rush here. I'm very happy to have that. Uh, let's embark, jump on in, and see how this goes. The great thing I had managed to bring through was brutish and stupid. Moreover, it required prodigious amounts of meat to sustain itself. But this was only a trifling concern. After all, I had a village full of it. Interesting. Very interesting. The main thing I'm worried about with this setup is healing. Because Ryan, although can be brilliant, he can also be useless. Well, it's kind of why that I've paired him with a uh, rune here with this healing, because that should be uh, that should be pretty good for us. It must be destroyed. Right, so this will be the boss. So we just make the clearest path there. Um, camping, we can go for camping whenever we like, but it doesn't really matter when we do. Uh, we'll probably leave it till a little bit later on. For a task well performed. Indeed. But we should have a pretty good time against combat here. Just do remember that there's going to be some new enemies that we come across here that we probably haven't seen before. Unfortunate trap hit there already. Um, just because... Ooh, resist. Nice one. Just because, of course, there's going to be some new enemies that are on level 5 dungeons that we haven't seen before. We remember this guy. We came across a swine armorer before. These guys can be very, very difficult to deal with. 
Uh, so we're hoping that we're hoping that we don't get too much going against this. Oh, no. There's a hook it where it hurts crit right off the bat. So we'll set up with this. Huge heal. But the bigger thing is setting up that prot on everyone. Definitely need that going. Um, and yeah, we'll see We'll see how the armorer ends up dealing. Of course, the um, they just don't like Matthew at all. <laughs> they know that he's the beast slayer and they do not like it. Unfortunate dodge there as well. Um, you have prot. Yeah, let's just weaken your prot. Let's get rid of that. And sort that out. Unfortunately, that didn't do anything. Uh, so this could be a relatively difficult setup of enemies here, to be honest, um, based on what we've currently got going on. Uh, stress could get pretty high with this fight. I'm hoping that he comes out of stress next round. Uh, let's have a little look, see what we can do here. Um, that will stun. What sort of damage is it? This is going to do good damage, yeah. We crit for 43. That's an insta-kill there. We definitely want to go for that. Uh, getting that stress reduced early is very, very nice. Um, stun chance... Is 85, 50, 65. Let's go for a stun on you then, shall we? Uh, that's very nice. And then hopefully we can set up with Sunder in the next turn and go for a big hit. He's going to brand him with extra damage. Ooh, that plus 12 crit is scary. That plus 12 crit is very scary. Um, let's just bite on you. A huge crit there for 23. And, of course, a bleed over time. This is going to hurt a lot. <laughs> yep. I could see that coming from a mile away. I knew that was going to crit. But now that this guy's stunned, we get the extra stun damage, uh, which is very nice. Of course, another hook where it hurts. Good dodge, though, this time around. Um, I think we want to take you care of you. Unfortunate miss there, Manold. And we will go for yet another heal here. Um, I'll, probably, I'll probably let Ryan heal himself up in the next turn as well. Um, definitely want to take care of you. Nearly dead, but the bleed isn't going to quite cut it. Yeah, let's heal you. This is what I mean, Ryan. Why? Why, Ryan? It's really not the time. Thank you for not getting hit there, though. At least that's a good thing. Oh, my God. And hook it where it hurts coming in for yet another crit. That's three in a row now. Oh, my God. You're gone. Good. The armor really is the thing that we should have taken out first, but we just couldn't. And the high dodge here is really screwing us. So let's hope that Ryan survives. <laughs> let's really hope. That's a nice crit there. Very happy about that. Uh, but let's let's hope that Ryan can heal himself up. There you go. That's very nice. He did bleed, but that's okay. That's going to be another crit. Nope. <laughs> I, re I was really expecting another one there. We'll get another AoE heal in, in just a minute, though. There's another big bite coming out from Matthew. Well done. That's going to stun us, most likely. We do not have great stun resist. Oh, no. We resisted it. We did it. Finish you off. That's going to bleed you to death. Very nice. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Um... Honestly, I think we I think we cut off the bleeding and we momentary abatement. Heal for zero again. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is just mean. <laughs> Two zeros in a single fight. There you go. 23 that time. Um we got Blunderbuss here. There you go. Very, very nice. Destroy them all. Very nice indeed. And a Jude Tapestry. Very, very nice. Okay, so we can definitely see there's some issues with this with this setup. There's a few very small minor issues. We need all the bandages we can get. I'm sorry I'm leaving that. Um, there's a, a very... Oh, this is stupid. What, what am I doing? What am I doing? I just realized that I'm going the wrong way. There's no reason to go down that path. Do not do any unnecessary fighting while we're here. We need to be in tip-top shape for the boss. We really do. Uh, so, yeah, keep keep our health. Nice dodge. Manold is pretty well versed in the traps and stuff like that. He's a beast slayer at heart, so he knows the uh, he knows his way around here. Another armorer here. Uh, this time, we'll probably focus him down a little bit if we can. Um, stun chance on you is relatively high. I think we go for the stun then. Yeah, getting that stun basically gives us the ability to do more damage here. 20 damage right off the bat on this guy. The armors have a lot and a lot of HP. Unfortunately, they also have a lot of dodge too. Um, while this guy's stunned, let's go for the hit and save the heal for later. We don't need it quite yet. The spew is going to hurt and could cause disease. I'm hoping that it doesn't, but with a crit, it definitely could. Another hook where it hurts. Definitely good to see Ryan dodging there. Another brand coming in. I do love the armor as a, as a modded enemy, by the way. Very, very cool. Nice resist on the bleed there. Definitely going to be an incoming heal here from Ryan and the next. He did resist the uh, 
Did resist this time. And there's that bite. Good, good. Like to see it. Um. What's your, your, your stun resist? Your stun resist is relatively high. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Yep, I got it. Just because we don't need to do the healing yet. Another 22 on you puts you in a very bad spot. Good to see. Another hook where it hurts, and of course. But this is fine. The stress is not, I will say, the stress is not fine. But huge heals coming across the board there. And I say huge heals. That wasn't exactly as big as I thought it was going to be. But nonetheless, Reforge here coming in again with an Aegis. Okay, interesting. This guy's got a lot of stuff going on for him right now. And of course, he's getting extra crits. Yeah, good. We didn't get stunned. Um, we can heal ourselves for eight. I think we should, honestly. Oh, we've got heal for ten because we've got Hippocratic. I forgot about that. Healing for ten there is pretty nice. Finish you off and make sure that you're not buffing anyone else up. Go for a heal here. Only nine, but honestly, we didn't need a ton. This course has a cooldown, so we can't use it yet. Uh, let's just knock off that Aegis block. Nice dodge. Le at least hook it where it hurts. Doesn't have the greatest accuracy in the world. Good, good. Good, good. Nice dodges. Another dodge, maybe. I'm really hoping that we can uh, get some stress relief going. Unfortunately, I do believe Eldritch Blood is pretty damn bad. Yes. It gives us a lot of positive resistances, but it does affect our uh, stress, which is unfortunate. Okay, nice. We need this. We definitely need to handle some stress soon. We haven't attacked this guy once, once yet, which is really bad. Um, let's do that and get rid of your dodge. For sure, a bit easier to hit for us. Didn't end up uh, taking hold, but oh well. Light is, is uh, slipping away from us. Finish you off, I'm hoping. I think uh, Manol should be able to finish this. Spew again. Let's go for this, just for some more healing and the speed increase. Nice. 28 is a huge hit there. Very well done, Manold. Very well done indeed. Go for another one of those. Getting everyone de-stressed and healed up. And there you go. Manold finishes that off. Nice. Big stress relief there. Um, just stun you a minute. I think that'll kill you, actually. No, it won't. Okay. We might be able to get another round of stress relieving in here with that extra stun, I'm hoping. While he's got the bleed on him. Unfortunately, there's an extra uh, stress received there. That's not great. Um, do that on you. Nice resist on the bleed. Good, good. Okay, this is good. Um, unfortunately, you can only stress relieve when he's in that back, up, uh, back like further back position. So maybe we should swap over to one of these. Um, okay, yeah. Let, let's let's switch over to that. So we'll finish you off. And just because we can't use that stress relief there, uh, we don't need that. Let's take that. Let's take that. Yeah. Let's uh, let's quickly swap out this for. This here, just to get some more stuns out there. Um, this is going to be a negative quirk removal. Not terrible. Definitely want to get rid of some of them. They're they're pretty bad. Okay, I think I think you're the the best con contestant for this. Sickly quirk removed. I'm not sure which one that was. It wasn't the one we wanted to remove actually. All of the other three would have been better, but. I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, let's quickly get you to bite down some of this. Let me carry on. Some spiders. Not too big of an issue for us, I don't think. Um, these guys do have high dodge, so let's just remove some dodge. There you go. Make you a bit easier to hit. I'm going to do this first, actually. I think I should do that first every battle, because it gives us a plus four buff to our speed and a plus three buff to everyone else's. I think that's really, really important. Actually, it gives you both. Wow. I was wrong way around there. 51 crit. Okay. That's the sort of damage that we are really hoping for when it comes to fighting, uh, fighting the 
the swine god. 51 crits are amazing. Blight on us there, not too bad. Web coming in for the stun, I think. Yep, unfortunate. It's okay, it's to be expected. He's not our main damage dealer, so we don't have to worry. Rune is simply here as an additional damage dealer slash off healer. Works out for us. By the way, I do realize that Matthew has an AoE uh, biting attack, but I just wanted to not give me even a slightest chance of accidentally using it against Wilbur. Yeah, definitely more blight on you than I'd like to see. Obliterated. Obliterated. Uh, let's heal you up for zero again. Ryan, you cannot be doing this to me. This is infuriating, my dude. Oh my god, no, the misses. They're all coming out now. There you go, that's nice. That's nice. Fight coming in, he is marked, so that's going to hurt, and it's going to blight us for a lot. Right. There you go, that's that finished. Right, let's quickly do that. This expedition at least promises success. I'm not going to torch up yet because we're about to camp. I'll torch up if we get into a fight here. We didn't. Okay, good. Uh, right, so we can camp here now. A spark without kindling. Right, let's have a little look-see. So, extra armor piercing and prop. Extra stun chance. Uh, extra stress healing. We can go with um, extra damage for one companion. Extra scouting chance. Definitely minus stress. I'd definitely go for that as well. Um, remove... Wait, is this self-only? It is self-only. You don't have any diseases right now, so that doesn't work out. Small chance to make a hunter's tool. Produce trinket. Um, extra chance for nighttime ambush. Interesting. Well, we already have a prevent item ambush, so that might not work. But still, I'm going to go with uh, with this and see what happens. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything from that that we really care about. Um, and then with you, let's go with... Um... Actually, no. Let's go with the extra damage on Manold. Let's rest it up. The way okay. Is the path is clear. We're ready. We're good to go, right? Let's jump on into this battle. We might have a fight beforehand in this in this hallway. Thank God you dodged that. But we're ready. We're good to go. Let's fight the swine god. Here he is. It is a travesty. A blundering mountain. The squeal coming in. That's bad. That's a stun right off the bat there. But the damage coming out should be still okay. Nice dodge, Ryan. We're going to lower his damage output as much as we can. Unfortunately, resisted the debuff. Let's up our speed. That's very important. Give us a bit of that prot as well. We just set up for next time. Manold, unfortunately, having to skip a turn here isn't great. Obliterate body's going to hurt. Wow. That hurt way more than I was expecting it to. Ryan, you've got to pull out all the stops here. Holy shit, Ryan. You have to do so much. No. This is this has gone so poorly so fast. I didn't know you could hit for that much damage. Holy hell. Also, our light levels is dwindling. Strike back with a 48 right on you. Fantastic. Right. Definitely get that in. A 20 crit heal there is very important. Very nice indeed. Buffing maximum HP is also very nice. Okay, that's going to hurt a bit, but not too much. The squeal coming in once again. Do not stun him. Thank God. That's beautiful. Thank you, Ryan. You have you have served your purpose. Okay. Another great crit. Thank you. We maybe should have taken the trinket that increases crit chance on hit enemies. Um... Cold Snap isn't going to do anything here. Let's just go for the hit then, shall we? Okay. Obliterate Masses is going to hurt. Honestly, I'd much rather the 35 crit be on Rune. So, that's bad, but not awful. 
Damn it. Him being stunned is not good, though. That's not a great heal either, and it's a bleed. Okay. That was maybe not the smartest decision to heal heal uh, you. Nice hit. Ryan could be in trouble here because of this stun. Another 48 crit, though. We are, we are taking out his health quick. And a stun! Super rare chance for that to happen with this, but my god. When it does... Okay, that that has, that has saved Ryan here. Our light levels are getting low again. We have no torches left either. A crit for six. Well done. We can get our food going on in just a second here. Let's go on that. Not great damage there. That's okay. Um, only three more damage on that remaining, so we're okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. Got to remember, we're, we're, we're constantly upping our protection here. Upping our prop. Another 35 crit on Rune. And he's got bleed on him. Okay. That's not good. I'll admit, it's not good. We're getting there, though. We're getting there. Rune. Dude. Ryan. If you have killed Rune here, I will be so upset. That's great. Oh, no. This could be so bad. Yep, this is going to be bad. And now the true test oh, God. This is bad. Fast or expire. That is the worst. Don't stun him. Thank God. This is bad. No. This is no place Rune. for the weak or foolhardy. I can't believe it. Wilbur, you shit. Oh, do it, don't do it, Wilbur. Oh, no. That is, that is a true loss. That is a true loss. Wilbur did it. He stunned a lot of people there. He's dodged again. Oh, my God. Wilbur's being crazy right now. I can't believe that. Oh, that's upsetting. That's very upsetting. I knew it was a possibility. This boss is very hard. I knew it could happen. Could we please, like, get a hit on Wilbur, though? <laughs> How are we, like, having such a hard time against him right now? Everyone's stunned. My god, don't stun him again, please. Blood vision. Thank God. The end approaches. There you go. Honestly, it's sad to say, but Rune uh, Rune was killed by Ryan. And there you go. Bested. But we lost so much in the process. Ah, I didn't. I didn't use um, the dog treats either. Stupid. Um, get rid of them. Get rid of that. That. Oh, that is unfortunate. And it's our first loss of someone that was very dear to us. I mean, we've lost a few people dear to us, but Rune tru truly was one of my favorites. And as well, he was on his own personal quest. So it is a shame to see him go. But we return to the Hamlet. And Ryan, Ryan's got to feel bad about that. If he'd have healed him... For even just, like, five rather than zero, there's a chance that he wouldn't have died there. I mean, <sighs> I should have maybe stacked more stun resist. There was a few ways I maybe could have got out of that, but it's not always possible, is it? It's not always possible. We come back to the Hamlet feeling I was both victorious, but... Also, Before quite the crows low. And rats made it their domain. That is truly upsetting. At least, at least we managed to fulfill Rune's destiny and destroy the swine god. But it is, it is still a massive shame, right? These guys need to get some diseases removed. So let's do that. Oh, let's check what trinkets we've got available. 
tough stuff. Very tough stuff. But these are the things we have to deal with, unfortunately. These are the things that we've got to go up against. We have a level 4 Soothsayer. We'll bring on a Soothsayer, why not? And see how that see how that works out. But it's only a level four. In fact, in fact, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna change change around my rules and make make it so that only level five spawn because we don't want to take on level fours at this point. It would take too long to level people up. But there it is. We do have a few more diary entries to finish off this episode. Um, but unfortunately, they're going to be on a slightly darker turn than they were prior. First one's from Blank Gaming by uh, for Nori at Acolyte of the Sun. I rarely get sent out with the other adventurers, just because, look at, just because I look so tiny and frail. People keep assuming that I'm too frail for missions, but no matter. The Hamlet Library has a great variety of books about the sun and moon's magic. I can't help but notice some books weren't missing, but that's no matter. I really need to go on an adventure soon. I have a lot of skill on paper, but it's a lot more uh, efficient attacking a moving target than a stationary dummy. Indeed. And then last of all... We have um, a diary entry from Lumen, our new Illuminator, by, ah, uh, yes, this guy again. I am unsure if this is some kind of mess up jerk or if they, they, they mess up jerk or if they plan this, but this is humiliating. This body hurts to use and I can't even leave it thanks to all the holy symbols that it has. Normally I'd be grateful to be summoned and use my power to cause chaos, but this is horrible. I hope I won't have to see that Vestal again after what I did to her. But I don't have time to worry about that. Now I need a way to escape this body. Hmm. But first I have to make the people trust me so that they don't come and turn me into ash. And maybe I'll join on one of those expeditions that some of the townsfolk have been talking about. All I have to do is say that I'm a holy warrior of, or something and I'm set. I may hate this body, but it is still usable. And I have some unfinished business on this mortal plane that I intend to finish. Very, very nice. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed. But it is unfortunate that Rune had to perish. It's it's a double-edged sword, really, because Rune truly wasn't really the right person to fight the Swine God in terms of his abilities. But... He also was because his backstory dictated it. Bearthalt will probably be crushed. It's gonna be it's gonna be a tough few weeks of people, and yeah, it's it's unfortunate, but at least we came out the other side of it. Um at least we came out the other side of it. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.